What's up, guys? YouTube. Okay. We are. There's four of us. To, more coming. We're at our first. Of us. Four of us. There's one, two, three. What about the other guy? Four. You got a sharpie? The other guy. Put it on the back. <sighs> okay, there's uh, many, many, many people problem. here today. 150 oh, we cars. Oh, it will go. It will, Registration oh. thing, trailer there. So about 150 cars. We got a red, whatever that is. I don't know, some B, V, M, W, some, some, I don't know. And this puppy, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> hey. We got new tires. The Falcon Outsides. All right, we got the new tires. We got some rate reduction going on here. Still haven't done the thing about the bumper. No time. All right, guys, we're gonna go register and I'll see you on the track. All right, guys, just quickly now. We're walking the track. Just registered. You can see this is a long one. All right. All right, so I'm gonna show the whole thing. But uh, at the start, there's a little slalom. Then you got a kind of a tight right and it continues there and goes all the way back of the parking lot then obviously you're going to come back there somewhere and the finish is somewhere somewhere there so this is what's called a high speed autocross should be fun but uh, less runs you know instead of five six seven runs in the morning and then in the afternoon which you know altogether can be 12 or 14 which is a lot of driving like uh, i did a video uh, with the mazda miara windy city mazda miara uh, club the track is much shorter and slower but you you know you get to drive more this one is the other way around you get to drive less there's more waiting involved but it's a more you know higher speed more fun track i guess and uh, it is better for faster cars so we're looking at probably three runs you know six altogether the thing with these kind of tracks is the longer ones you know obviously you have a lot of turns you know it's a lot to remember okay and by the time you learn it you gotta go home <laughs> the events over uh, yeah so you gotta be really good at remembering these turns which is which is kind of kind of a bummer all right, guys. See you later. All right, guys. Just finished the drivers' meeting. Just gonna show you quickly some of the cars. I like these three. And there is ours. Beauty. That exhaust. First run for Lucas and go. Oh, no brakes. No brakes? Very little. <laughs> Too, no, too much pressure, man.
cut, cut, cut. Six. Second gear all the time? It was mostly second gear. Did you put it in third or no? For a brief moment. Decided to switch every run. Two, six, four, three, so now it's my first two. one. Can I say something? Yeah, I effed up. Well, we both did. Yep. All right, guys, run number two for Lucas. Seven one seven. Nice clean pass. Okay, so big improvement. We did lower the pressure in the front tires a little bit. A bit. Second, talk. Second or third? Oh yeah, second. Yeah, second for me. All right, this is it. Glo my racing gloves. Good. Yeah. Two. My foot got stuck between the clutch and the brake. Right. At one point. I'm serious. But I wouldn't lie. Seven two two. All right, guys. So a little recap. We were finished with the first half, so three and three runs each, me and Luke. And we have a diff, rear diff seal leak. Actually, the oil is actually dripping a bit. We need to replace the seals, axle seals. Should be an easy fix. Why easy? Because we did replace those Jesus bolts a few episodes back. And if you know Subarus, you know, you know those long bolts that go through the knuckle and attach to the rear control arms. They like to stay there forever. And I was actually, one actually came out for Lucas and the other that I was working on got stuck and I ended up cutting it, heating it up and all kinds of stuff. But in other news, I'm gonna show you the front tires, what's going on with those. So the wear, the main wear is right here. You can actually see it exactly right here. But look at this. This actually, the sidewall was actually riding 
the asphalt. So which means is, well, first we don't have enough negative camber. You know, stock suspension. This is this is a, a big minus for us. But we have too little pressure, so we actually dropped too little. So for the next run, we're gonna raise the pressure. Actually, get m have more pressure in the front and leave the rear alone, most likely. So we're gonna see how that behaves. But you can see, I mean, it's. I mean, barely so close to the rim. So we were riding the sidewall uh, on a few turns. Yeah. Yeah. Corner four eight eighty one cone. Seven one nine, my best so far. Whenever you're ready. Okay.
70.1 something just now so we got a difference of 0 0.05 right more or less right is that what you, was your best flat 70 you mean uh, 0 0.04 was mine and yours was 0 0.1 no 70.67 no i thought i thought you, didn't you get to do a 70.1 i no? did set set no all right, we're gonna I see did, you out later did, online. I did 71. All right, guys, event is over. We got an issue with the oil leak from the rear diff. Already talked about that. Time to go home. Yeah, time to pack and go home. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.